A lot of small chokes, so I definitely, I really want to see these disruptors. We're back, guys, with another match here for you. It is a PvP this time around, as my good friend Biscuits just pointed out. On Abyssal Reef for game number one. Let me minimize OBS real quick, and we'll be good to go. Spawning into the bottom right-hand corner. The teal Protoss pieces. From Psyx, it is Xenodactyl. And spawning in the top left, also blue, also representing Psionic Aftermath, it is If I Were Soup. So we do have a bit of a PvP mirror match, and it is also a team kill. Now, these are where things get very awkward in terms of, like, we've played so much together, I know what you're going to do. When you're going to do it, and what generally whereabouts you're going to go. Yeah, we'll definitely see how it's going to pan out. But both of, I want to point out both of these colors are uh, blue, so... And they're Protoss units, so it's going to be hard to see. Yeah, we probably should have made them change to, like, red or something. I mean... I'm not going to be too worried about it. It's really uh, just top of the skins. You know, one that's using the purifier skin while the other one's choosing to use a default. Yeah. So we do Although, have... if I were a suit, yeah, he seems to have opened with a double gas, double gate. Dino Dactyl also apparently following up with the same suit. Double gas coming down as well. So sticking to that mirror match. Now, this does seem pretty standard for PvP to open up double gates, go near Cybernetic Score. Get your double gas and then expand. But we do have a second pro being rallied across the map here, and it's already slightly. Oh. I was about to say, I'm slightly confused about what could be going on here. Looks like Xeno is going to opt for possibly a more of a proxy Stargate, and possibly hide some tech. He does a uh, life for super. We'll see that there is a Cyber Next Core and a Gateway also being added on. That awkward moment when Probius is kind of stuck next to a mineral rock and won't leave. Wow, oh, man. Got a mineral walk. Yeah, that scouting probe. Azino going to make his way one more time around. Looks like he's going to head home now. now. I'm just curious as what he plans to do with this pylon he has up here. He was just kind of chilling out. And um, the fire soup has his first two units were stalkers while xenodactyl were adepts so especially since he has his forward pylon we'll see if he might be going for more uh a more aggressive strategy we'll be adding on a stargate all right so stalker versus oracle sure but now there is also the option of going for phoenix but it is a proxy stargate so i'm going to lean more towards him actually leaning towards that st uh, oracle here and he's still on one base so I want to see some um, shield battery void reaction. That would be interesting. Yeah, if Life for Soup is opting to expand, he does have two more stalkers on the way. So this Oracle coming out here shouldn't get too much damage if it is going to indeed be an Oracle. Yeah, these adepts getting shooed away. Uh, if they keep running, one will get picked off. Is Shade going to go right up into the main? Nice pylon block Ooh. there. Oh, he canceled it! Oh no! Uh it's a free... Oh, I don't think Xenodactyl noticed that. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he noticed that at all, and he's going to lose that adept. Using to expand now himself. Now there's also a Robo being added on. Now this is a matchup where Stargate versus Robo is a tech path choice here. Now, although we haven't... Uh, yeah, the Oracle is just starting up now, and uh, Xenodactyl doesn't seem to be in a favorable position or have the right units against these Stalkers. I mean, the Oracle is a little bit more nimble and can get around them, but they did nerf the damage Oracles do do. So it's no longer like, here's two Oracles, zap, 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 your mineral line's gone. It's now like, it actually takes a couple seconds. So there is a chance these Stalkers can indeed catch it. Now, is he adding on? He's adding on two more gateways. He has an Observer out. Yeah. I'm really scared for, uh, for Xenodactyl because if he miss micros this Oracle of, like once or twice, the these stalkers will definitely burst it down in just a couple of volleys. And he is adding on stalkers of his own now as well. And interesting enough, he threw a shield battery down in the main. Oh, he does get it. 
use two probes. As we can see, that damage we did. Damage being changed back to spell, I do believe it was, is actually kind of a factor in killing some of these probes. Yeah. Xenodactyl following this up with a Void Ray and his own Stalkers. Mm-hmm. But or we're going to make its way back south here, and we do have some Void Rays being added on out of this Stargate, so he is opting for that Void Ray attack. So we'll be sky tossed by the looks of it versus Robo. Now, this is where you are on the clock, as if Life or Soup is. And if the Void Ray count gets too high and you don't have Blink or anything to deal with it, which the only option for you right now to deal with the Void Ray is Stalker, then it's going to be more of a uh, hassle for you late game as the sky toss will build up. Also, uh, something to point out here. Cast Revelation, please. Do it. Please do it. You do can it. hear it. Yeah, you, you can hear it. <laughs> a lot of people still don't know that that's a thing. Yeah, I've killed many observers. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I've been pointing that out in a lot of past casts. Oh, he will get over here and find it. There's a Stargate completely oh. exposed. That awkward pylon being thrown down right next to it. This Void Ray is going to get cancelled out. Oh, we should have focused the pylon. Oh, no, he oh. will get the Void Ray, though. I mean... Look at everything here. Yeah. A bit of a mistake catching that uh, out there in the middle of the map like that. I mean, if you're going to build an uh, Oracle in a proxy state like that, I would build it more towards your opponent's base. Yeah. This definitely doesn't look very good as uh, for uh, Xenodactyl because if, if I were Soup has Immortals out already in this proxy pylon. Hey man, there's a Void Ray. Don't knock the skill Ray till it's too late. Yeah, and he has shield batteries, so... <laughs> but there's just more numbers here for if life or soup. Oh, he loses the void rate? Oh my... Okay, this looks very bad now. It's just a numbers game. I mean, you're gonna out DPS his shield battery either way. With this many stalkers, a nice uh, triggering of that stasis there. GG gonna be called out. Yeah. And that will give if life or soup game number one. Yeah, man, classic PvP. Uh, yeah, I don't. I still don't think that opening was very favorable, as his Oracle didn't seem to do as much damage as he really needed it to in order to make up for uh, the Immortals and the amount of Stalkers that his opponent had. Yeah, he did try for a little bit more cheesier opening there. Next map, I do believe the next map was Odyssey. Ascension. Yep. The Davidos are done and out of the way. The maps are going to flow a little bit easier this series. Yep. Well, next we'll have two Protosses fighting to who will ascend to Ire. <laughs> what you did there. See what you did there. Hey! I'm back. For the referee. Can we get colors not same shade of blue? <laughs> that was yes, a little please. bit of a, a hassle. Alright. Uh, seems good. Purple versus teal. and uh, That works. Yeah. We're just going to wait for them to ready up and then we'll get this game under the way. Ready check here. We got to go go into ready. We got to go go and fly for soup. Let's see a xenodactyl. Yep, there we go. And both players are ready and we're loading in. Alright, let's see who opts for the cannon rush this time around. Oh man. This is a very easy map to do a cannon rush on too, by the way. Yeah, those large edges are definitely a pain. Spotting into the top left hand corner. Playing is the teal Protoss pieces. Currently down 1-0 in the series. Hey, there we go. 
it is the teal Protoss pieces from Psy X of Xenodactyl. And spawning in the bottom right as the purple Protoss also representing Psy X. It is if I were Sue. He's currently up 1-0 in the series. There can only be one Highlander. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Especially on Ascension to Ire. Only one can ascend. There can so, only be one. So Xeno is going to go ahead and throw out a probe after a pylon. I mean, generally this is a sign that you could actually see the cannon rush because the pylon is down. Nothing being added on just yet. And he will, okay, no, he's going to add a gateway. Yeah, because you want to time it out for when your forge is done that you can start your cannons and so forth. Yeah. And the gateway seems to be pretty late compared to uh, if I receives. I mean, he had to respond to his good buddy there. Yeah. He is. Oh, hey. Hey. Right. Where are you going, uh, probe? Where are you going? Sus. I'm sensing a little bit of cheese in this system. Although, if I were soup, did open two is gate, two gas, so I feel like Robo? you should be able to produce pretty well. Proxy Robo? I bet this Proxy Robo. Oh, he doesn't even have a cyber core started yet. I mean, probably just gonna hang out until then. I bet it's proxy Robo. He tried Stargate, so why not Robo this time? Yeah, it's pretty. That's it's definitely gonna be pretty late though. Oh, and the pylon does come down. I mean, it's not that it's gonna be late. He just had to get his cyber nice core started, and I do believe he will time out when cyber nice core finishes with the pylon, so he will be able to just throw down his Stargate or his Robo. I vote on Robo. Will it be the Robo? Probius, build stuff. Do probe things. Warp in buildings. Warp in buildings. Do have a Robo back home for if life or soup, and he has yet to expand as well, so he is choosing possibly to be more of a one base. And there we go, the Robo facility is on the way for both players. Yeah, I'm really scared for Xenodactyl because if I were soup, uh, if I were soup's Robo is. Oh, time no. the same exact time. The stalker could actually catch this. Uh, uh, it's gonna be close. Uh, the gateway uh, being added uh, on, so he is gonna be able to reinforce his probe. Oh no! This could be the biggest tell oh. of the game. This probe. Come on. That probe just gave it away. If this stalker turns around, to, oh come on, soup, read into it. He didn't. No, he's, he's he didn't check. He didn't check. This could still be possibly the funniest proxy ever because he just gets away. Oh no. He gets away with it. Portals are on the way, and he does have the proxies there with the gateway coming down, so he will be able to warp in across the map. Stalkers are being sent out. Now, let's love how this is very similar builds, but one's proxy while the other one's back home. Yeah, this looks really scary for uh, If Life or Soup, as he doesn't really know what's happening yet. He called him If Life or Soup. You know, if life were a soup, what kind of soup would it be? Mmm, I don't know, man. This could also be a very interesting situation developing as, uh, if I were soup, is gonna send his stalkers across the map. Yeah, and I don't Zeno know what Deco Zeno Deco's gonna do. Has nothing back home to defend. He does have two stalkers back home to defend. The gateway is, or warp gate, not done yet. These stalkers are gonna run into each other. And that should also be a pretty good sign, or a pretty good, uh... What are you ha are doing here, mate? What are you doing? As, uh, he is going to throw down another pylon, and mortals are going to march forward here. He's going to start knocking on the low-ground pylon here. Uh, is this going to prompt a recall? Uh, he probably could just recall that. He does have the energy yeah. for it. He unpowers the pylon. Oh! This is huge. Okay, he has no power to these structures at all. The Gateways are down. There's one Immortal yeah. versus a Stalker here, and the Immortals, yeah, Xenodactyl might actually win this. He's bringing back his yeah. other second Immortal, <laughs> but he might actually be able to get in here and do more damage. The Shield Battery, though. Oh my god. Yeah, gosh. the Shield Battery is definitely helping him a lot. And the second Immortal comes in from the back with the Immortal Flank. Oh my gosh. Seriously, he just threw this one out. Honestly, he threw this one out the window. Warp Gate's done, right? Oh no, Warp Gate. Oh. Unpowered. Oh no. He's trying to fight with the probes. The probes are kind of awkwardly hanging around. What are you doing? I think that's it. 
He says he way too much damage here. No, he can't. Your only other gateways across the map, and it's one versus one warp gate back home in a robo. It's still powered. Yeah, they were. Yeah, right. GG, I was about to say. That was a pretty fast GG. <laughs> <laughs> and if I were soup, that was close as hell, 2 0. Oh, man. Talk about the uh, cheesy strats not getting you anywhere in life. And the fire soup moves on to face Inner Orbiter. So I have a PVZ there.